Oh, and it looks like I already, I already messed up some more preparation. Oh, okay, now I should be good to go. Um, well, good morning, everybody. Um, and uh, this is, I'm gonna try to keep this short, but uh, this is gonna be kind of a, kind of a short announcement here. Okay, um, I said this in yesterday's cast that, um, I was, I was on a Fightcade. I, I downloaded a soft piece of software called Fightcade where you can download a whole bunch of ROMs. Um, one of those ROMs that I was really, really wanting was, uh, it's called Dungeons and Dragons, uh, uh, Shadow Over Mistara. There was, actually, there was actually another Dungeons and Dragons called Tower of Doom. I, I, I think I played it, but only like maybe one time, once or twice. I don't remember much about it afterwards. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to sketch in a little bit of history here, but anyway, um, so I couldn't get Fightcade to work. Um, I tried downloading all the appropriate folders and whatnot, and tried uh, I tried playing the game on Fightcade, and they gave me an error message saying we were unable to, or was it? We were unable to load Dungeons and Dragons. You know, it, it basically just told me it failed to load. Why? It didn't say. So, so I was kind of stuck. Um, and one of the reasons why I wanted that game on Fightcade was because, um. For the longest, for the longest time, um, I thought this game had like no controller support. Uh, when I when I first uh, download, when I first uh, got this on Steam, um, it it said it had full controller support, but yet it was mouse and keyboard only. And um, I and I didn't see at the at the time I didn't see an option to I didn't see any option to change between. You know, an actual settings menu. I'll again, I'll kind of explain later when I boot the game up. So, what I ended up doing, since the game was basically unplayable, but yet I didn't want to get rid of it, I chose hide this game. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Let me, let me double check this real quick. Okay, cursor's on, so you, sh you should be able to see my cursor there. Okay, but anyway, so what I went ahead and did, same thing I do with uh, some of the other games that are unplayable for whatever reason, but yet I don't want to get rid of them. I chose hide this game, which just takes it out of this uh, out of the list here. Well, recently, again, I wanted to, I was trying to get the game back, but I didn't see anything here like, I didn't, you know, like show hidden games, you know. Sort by recent activity, show ready to play. Okay, here's filtering options. Uh, I didn't see anything here about, you know, show hidden games or anything like that. So, um, and that just takes you to the home. Here, let's, you know, so, you know, so here I am trying to figure out, you know, where's my game at? You know, because I can go on the, uh, let's go to the store here. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to have to do an actual search. Should be in here. Oh, that... <laughs> yeah, that's a knockoff if I ever saw one. Dwarves and Dungeons. It's like that, uh... It's like that game, Bully. They have that, uh... The, the nerd faction had that game of uh, Grottles and Gremlins. So, so it looks like I'm going to have to type the whole thing out. Yeah. See, here's see here's what I had. I looked in my... Uh, looked in here. I mean, it said it was in my library, but it said I could play it, but yet I didn't see it on my list. Because... You know, so... Um, like I said, I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know how to unhide the game. You know, I figured um, if there was a way, it would have been here. I didn't see much point in actually doing a Google search, since they're probably going to tell me the same thing anyway. And you know, and it's not a it's not a unique experience. You know, I have a <clears throat> I have an issue with a game or or whatever. I can't you know games unplay. But you get the idea. Um, you know, I, I've gone on, go, done a Google search, typed down my issue, 
and the solutions were exactly what I thought of. So, so it just, a lot of times it's hardly a point in doing a Google search. This time, however, I went ahead and did it thinking, you know, just, you know, just so I can say at least I tried. Well, apparently, the answer is up here in this, uh, the drop-down menus up here. I mean, but, which I'm hardly ever up, you know, I mean, account options, seldom I up there. Uh, view games library. Oh, I could already do, I could already do that just by clicking library. So, you know, the only, the only thing on the drop-down menus I'm up here for is like, Steam support, like I probably need a refund on a game that was, that was unplayable and I'd never play again. You know, I want a refund on it. But, apparently, it was up here in this little went drop-down view. So, there it was, hidden games. That's exactly what Google said, so, this one time, Google actually came up with something that I didn't. There it is. So, that was how I found it. So, what I went ahead and did is, um, remove from hidden, and now it's back in my library. And I really wish you can get, there we go, there we go. So, okay, I have a, wait a minute, one time to do this. Now, one issue I did have is, um, you guys, where, let me go ahead and take this off. Now, you guys are probably seeing this as full screen, but uh, from my end, I think the resolution is like 1280 by 700 or something like that. You can't resize this game. All right, now I gotta check the volume. And yep, I am gonna have to turn it down. Now, here is the other. All right, let me go, let me turn the, uh, let me turn the overall volume down. First. So, and here was the other problem I had, and I had, it had just now occurred to me. Um, this is probably gonna sound very ignorant and stupid, but you see the settings? I thought the settings, I thought that was just a header. I didn't think that was something that you actually selected. So I was kind of fooled by the by the menu. I thought the only options I had was uh, controls, how to play, and credits, and that's it. Like that's it. So I didn't know what else to do to get you know get out of a uh, mouse and keyboard and then controller, you know. But no, it just now occurred to me. Uh oh, retard alert! Yes, indeedy. That settings is an actual option, you know, but I think I think a lot of other games a lot of other games said is, is it's exactly what I said, settings is, you know, it's a header, it's a headline um I want to say letterhead, for lack of a better word but I didn't, you know, usually when I, when I see settings, it's it's a title, it's not something you can actually click not in this game. You you know you have to actually. And so here it was. You can turn the music, sound effects down. Um, arcade cabinet. And then you. Yeah. I'll just set it to normal. And there it was. See, I had it here. Um, main menu control. Yeah, and I had to, I had to turn this off. So, but anyway, that was how I did it. It's saving, and I can now use my controller. So, 
So let's pick him. And I'm not gonna play this very long. Like I said, um, I've got other stuff I gotta do, so. No, let's see if I can, um, if I can remember the controls right. Okay. Let's jump. Now... Okay. Okay, so... The way the controls work... Let me, um... Alright, so... Okay, there's that. Play the controls here in just a second. But um, I'm actually gonna have to switch this though. Um, controls. Alright. Okay, so here's the way the controls work. Are the way that I have them set up, square, I'm using a PlayStation controller. Square is your attack, but if you hit square and then tap forward, okay, so they have this reverse then. Knights of the Round does it differently. In this game, you tap forward and attack, and you'll do a power attack. Um, if you, if you attack and tap backwards or hold backwards. Okay, that's right, yeah. If you hold down the attack button and move backwards, you'll guard, you'll block attacks. And, um, uh, if you, if anybody's ever seen any of my other videos or watched any of my other streams, you probably heard me say this. I, I fucking hate, uh, motion inputs in fighting games. I love them and beat them up, so. So, that being said, um, and then down forward does a charge attack. And then, um, and then X jumps. Oh, also, tapping, tapping twice in a direction. And yeah, I'm gonna have to move forward. Yeah, these are right now it feels like these controls are kinda janky though. I'm not playing on an art I'm not playing on an old fashioned arcade stick though. So let's go Joe. Okay, so I doubt I'm gonna have enough space for my whole entire name, Joe Schmo, so I'm just gonna go with Joe. Fighter Joe. Okay, so more on the controls. Again, tapping twice in a direction charges in that direction. Yeah, so these are controls are kind of janky. And then um, I think I might have already shown this down up attack. Does a basically the dragon punch uppercut. Um, X jumps. Now, 
if you go down and okay so it's kind of a toggle if you uh, go down and jump you'll crouch you'll use this to get underneath uh, get it to duck under high attacks push jump again to come out of the crouch you can also uh, down forward jump and you'll do a slide And one other thing about this game, unlike other beat-em-ups, which are super linear, it's just simple point A to point B, this game here has uh, extra areas that you can, you can explore. There's that push attack and jump at the same time you'll do a super attack uh you're invulnerable but it does cost health oh i'm grabbing that sucker It's locked. And then hitting attack picks up stuff. So. Okay, so apparently you can run into it. Okay, so. So I'm just going to bail out of this. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick demo of this. Now, now I guess uh, in case one was going to ask, um, I could see me streaming this. Um, I don't, I don't know where, but yeah, I'd really like to stream this game. Um, I don't know when, but uh, in the current the game I'm currently streaming, Gems of War. Um, I'm kind of really into that game as well. Oops. Well, here's a bit of a drawback. Um, apparently the game don't save your settings. Yeah. The game doesn't play, doesn't save your settings, so that means you have to go back into the options menu. Settings. So, this is kind of cool. Oh, damn. That's, uh... Oh, that's Dungeons & Dragons, uh... Third edition. Yeah, third edition, no. I think. Yeah, third edition. So. Okay, but, um... Like I said, I just want to do this, uh, gameplay demo. Um, but I... And again, to reiterate... I don't, I want, I want to stream this game, but 
as of now, it's gonna be a while. Like I said, I'm really into Gems of War. And so, yeah, so it's gonna be tough to fit in there. And today, tomorrow, and Thursday, there's like a special, a special event going on. And so, Gems of War is not gonna get a higher priority than pretty much anything else. Because this particular event, I think it only comes maybe once or twice a year. So, so gotta swoop up on that. But otherwise, hey, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.